Welcome. So what I have here is f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 6x squared minus 1. Now we notice that this is not in our standard form. We need to write it with the highest exponent first. So I'm going to write this in our standard form with des or descending order of the exponents. So therefore, I can correctly identify what my degree is and the leading coefficient. So the degree is going to be my exponent 2, and the leading coefficient is going to be 6. Now, what I, like, what I like to do is when I'm doing problems like this is I'll write out the degree, which is 2, and the leading coefficient, which is 6. And I notice that the degree is even, and the leading coefficient is positive. Therefore, by doing the leading coefficient test, I know I have two options. It doesn't matter what the function looks like. I know that I could either have both rising up, or my n degree could be both falling down. Now, since this is positive, I know that this is going to be the end behavior of an even degree and pos leading coefficient. And it doesn't matter. I mean, this is a quadratic, so you know it's going to produce a parabola. But it doesn't matter if this is a, um, a quartic or to the sixth power. You know, it can really be anything in between here, but the end behavior is always going to be the same. So therefore, we can say this rises left and rises right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you determine your end behavior from a polynomial function. Thanks.